Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Um, I'm kind of angry right now, and I, I kind of seen this coming. In terms of um, the murder trial against Freddie Gray, the death of Freddie Gray, another officer not guilty. Um, what have I found wrong with it? It's the judge. It's something about the cops that I really just hate. And there are some cops that I really don't like. Like, the cops that just going around killing people, hurting people for no reason. And, you, and they say cops' lives matter, but what about black lives matter, too? Like, we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for y'all. But that's besides the point, man. I'm talking... But I'm talking about um, one of the officers of Freddie Gray found now... Found now... Excuse me. Found not guilty. Um, there's a reason why I'm kind of upset about this because, um, they knew what they were doing all the time by the way they were driving on the way to the hospital, and yet he, he suffered a spinal cord and then broke it back. But, in my opinion, what what is wrong with like what is wrong with the world? Like what's wrong with the the court case? What's wrong with the judge? Why is he giving a, 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 a police officer another chance? He should be all six of them should be in jail facing more charges. Like finding him not guilty is not good enough. Because you know how people in Baltimore are going to act. Are going to react to it. It's never going to please everybody. And things are not going to... Look. You got to understand something. Things are never going to be the same after a certain somebody gets killed for no reason by a police officer. Everybody is going to wind up doing... You know... Protesting. Causing chaos. Getting arrested. Getting shot. Getting pepper sprayed. All that BS. And you find him not guilty. And to me, I find it kind of stupid. Because the way they put the man, the way that they put this nigga on the ground, right? Like, cops, they have a way of putting people down. Using their knees, excessive force. And... I just wish there are different ways of cops handling tough situations. Like, about last year when a black guy got killed eight times by a police officer, and the turns out the cops, turns out the cop was uh, sentenced to life, not life, but more years in prison after he murdered a black man. And he's 50 year old ex veteran. And there was no reason for him to be shooting at the guy when he could, when he was running out the car. Something tells me that this is not over until the protesters get what they want because justice will never be served for protesters because the court order is just, it's just pretty much lacking. In terms of Freddie Gray's trial. When you see a cop. Use excessive force. On a. Innocent. Male or female. They don't even. They don't give a. You know. They do what they want. They think hurting people is good. But it's not. That's pretty much abusing. Using excessive force. 
like I'm going to say it again, you're using the sense of force, you're abusing innocent people, and you're pointing a gun at them for no reason. And the same thing that happened last year or even the, in the, or the beginning of January when a police officer used a gun at a black person telling him to do all this and that, calling him all types of N-words and all that BS. And he was a white cop. Do I find it offensive? Yes, I do. And the Freddie Gray trial is never going to go away because either they fix the court system or Baltimore is going to be forever be broken. That's all I have to say.